so when uh, we were in the height of COVID, um, I was chairperson of uh, the Coastal IPA, Independent Practitioners Association, which um, is a group of about 150 doctors, um, they uh, all GPs. So I was chatting to a psychologist about how do we support our doctors um, just psychologically, you know, during the the um, the the pandemic and and the fear that comes with being on the front lines, and um, the psychologist uh, his name is Julie Hollily. She uh, we work with her quite closely. She um, s- spoke about a few things, but one of the things which which she spoke about, which really struck me, was um, what she called a, a worry window, um, and. Uh, when I first heard her speaking about it, I did not understand what she was talking about. Um, I understood uh, rationally, but but I just didn't connect with the idea. So what she said was that one of the ways to manage anxiety is to plan a a, a time to to worry. Um, so you plan a, a window of, of worry. Um, so if you're feeling anxious at a specific time, you, you can um, defer that anxiety by, by planning to worry later. Now, at, the mo- at that time, I think I hadn't yet um, come to a place of accepting my own anxiety um, and had rather felt a sense of uh, shame at feeling anxious or a sense of avoidance. But, but this, this piece of advice really, it really struck me as being a, an amazing concept of accepting your own uh, anxiety and, and uh, just deferring it for another time. Um, so one of the one of the ways that I, I progressed on that journey was to realize that we can we can go to God in prayer with our anxieties um, and he accepts us. Um, we we know that 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 Anxiety is not good, and that God doesn't want us to worry. Um, and so, when we worry, we can feel ashamed. We can we can actually draw, withdraw, or turn away from God. But that's not what He wants. He wants us to come to Him. Um, the Bible says that we should cast our burdens upon Him because He cares for us. Um, and let's confess our fears uh, before God and and allow him to give us peace.